Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Brad. Welcome to the Money Dad channel. Uh, this one is going to be kind of an update on where my channel is at and what I'm trying to do with it. Some of the tech upgrades that I'm trying to make around here in my office slash studio and um, you know some of the things that I've learned about making YouTube videos. I'm going to show you my my YouTube dashboard, my studio, and show you some of the you know videos and how many videos I have, things like that, uh, the progress that I've made on them since uh, some of the first videos that I put out. So let's start with some of the tech. In the beginning, I started out just using software on an old laptop to record my screen of the laptop, and I think I used the webcam on the laptop as well. And that style of video was easy for me. Uh, because I, I think I, I had done that a little bit of that in the past with like recording video games or re recording my screen for whatever I was doing but I knew how to use that software a little bit and I was comfortable with that personally because uh, the camera wasn't on my face so much I didn't even have to record myself at all I could just only record my screen Hey, happy Labor Day, everyone. It's September 7, 2020. I just wanted to point out on the S&P 500, we got this. Um, so I was a little bit more comfortable recording in the beginning like that. Uh, it didn't give me as much anxiety. So then I moved on to putting this little uh, webcam box at the bottom of my screens. As well, so. Okay, so moving on to stocks. So 4.5% of my net wealth is in an investment account. And that was uh, kind of my first step into recording my face and um, kind of getting out of the box a little bit there or, or stepping out of my comfort zone, I guess you could say. But the video quality on my webcam is terrible and the audio quality on the microphone on my laptop is terrible. Once I got home from deployment, I started using this Blue Yeti, which is fantastic. Uh, funny thing is though, I actually had it backwards. I'll, I'll try to find like a previous video that I had been using the microphone backwards up until like a couple days ago. I was watching a, a video um, on how to use a Blue Yeti because I didn't know if I had my settings correct. And inadvertently, I noticed that I had my microphone backwards all this time. So I think that might be why I was picking up the kids uh, so well because <laughs> this microphone is very good at picking up sounds from far away so I got the microphone upgrade on deployment I started making those intros and maybe some outros on my iPhone 7 have you ever wondered how rich you would be if you could have invested in Apple when they were still working out of a garage or uh, maybe in Amazon when back when Jeff Bezos still had hair just to get my face you know a bigger shot of my face I'd been watching YouTube videos about like how to I don't know make your YouTube videos better or whatever some a lot of people were saying like you need to get your face on your videos a little bit um, so I started making these intros with my iPhone 7 and then putting them at the beginning of my videos right so that got me a little I mean I was still extremely uncomfortable recording and talking on camera and putting it out there um, and I still am I still get anxiety before I record every single time um, sometimes hours will go by before I hit the record button and then sometimes even after I hit the record button I'll just sit there for minutes just uh, trying to think of what I'm gonna say uh, it's frustrating but at some point you just have to start talking and then you can edit out all the all the stuff that sounds stupid right so I eased into using the iPhone 7 now I'm trying to ease into getting away from the screen captures and just having my face on the screen as the focus point which is extremely uncomfortable for me but I've kinda eased my way up to this point and I'm hoping that this will get easier over time as well so now that I've um, been making videos with more time with just the iPhone 7 as the entire screen I've noticed that my uh, video quality is not as good as I thought the iPhone 7 was um, and the iPhone 7 is an old iPhone but and I use the, the screen side 
camera on it so that I can see the screen. I can see myself to see if I'm centered, see my lighting, stuff like that. My lighting is terrible. That's something that I still need to upgrade. So I'm not even using the best camera on the iPhone 7. And the iPhone 7 isn't even a new camera. Um, so there, I'm dealing with those issues. But I found this Canon EOS Rebel T3i didn't find it I mean we bought it years and years and years ago uh, we just don't use it all that much anymore I think because our cameras on our iPhones are so good might not mine in particular I have the iPhone 7 like I've said a hundred times now but my wife's phone is an iPhone 11 and it has a very good camera on it and um, we just we're not like professional photographers or anything so we bought this you know back when it came out to just take family pictures and stuff like that. And it almost became obsolete for us right after we bought it because our iPhone cameras just kept getting better and better. That's been sitting around in our house for years now. And, um, you know, I was watching YouTube videos on how to make my, how to improve my tech, what cameras people were using. And uh, that came up as a video option. I had, I've never used that camera for video ever and we've had it since it came out I've only ever used it for pictures I didn't even know that you could take video with it so um, I just took some video with it for the first time I'm gonna splice it in right here just to show you guys um, like a side-by-side -side almost of the the video quality the difference between an iPhone 7 and this um, Canon EOS Rebel T3i uh, DSLR and see uh, what the difference is again the lighting in both of these are going to be terrible so um, take that into account when you see these videos but uh, I think it should be interesting it should give us an idea of the video quality uh, that I'll have going forward as options at least um, if nothing else maybe I'll just have like two different angles that I can that I can swap between what's up everyone I'm Brad this is my first time using the Canon to record video a Canon that I've had for, I don't know, since it came out basically. And uh, I've never used it for video before. So I talked about cameras, I talked about the microphone, talked about where I'm going with kind of my video setups. I want to um, be on screen more and still have a little bit of screen capture when I show you guys like stock charts, things like that. And for example, in this video, I, I, I want to be able to show you my YouTube studio. So um, there will still be screen captures for things like that, but um, I am trying to transition to being more on camera um, just to get you know comfortable with that. I think that might make the videos better. I don't know. So I have my YouTube studio dashboard pulled up. I've got 71 subscribers now, and I don't even know how long this channel has been going on for, but if we go to analytics I think I might be able to figure it out from there so September 7th is the the real date that I you know started uploading videos so it is now November 3rd so we're approaching uh, two months um, on this channel I've got 70 71 subscribers so thank you all for subscribing um, if you have done that really appreciate it that's helping out the channel a lot I have put out 37 so 37 videos um, I did do like two live streams but they were so bad that I deleted them and my kids were in them and I wasn't really comfortable with that either so got rid of those so maybe one video every day and a half on average something like that I've been pushing them out I, I'm not going to be able to keep up with that pace you know I came back from deployment and I've had a lot of downtime since then I gotta go back in the office I gotta go back to work I just won't have as much time to put towards this channel going forward as I have lately so I will have to focus on better quality and less quantity if that makes sense so I think every video I make has been a little bit better than the last one um, I would love your your feedback on this as well uh, if you're watching this video please let me know in the comments down below how you felt the quality of the videos on this channel has been and if you could give any kind of specifics that would that would help i take all this kind of feedback and um try to improve my channel with it like uh yesterday i was at work and and 
someone told me that, you know, sometimes he can't really hear my videos too well. He has to turn up the volume. I think I have fixed that uh, by getting a better microphone, by using the microphone correctly now, by bringing the microphone closer to my face. Um, so a couple of things that I did there. Uh, if if the, all those things don't uh, improve the audio enough, I can just uh, increase the volume in post when I edit. I guess I'm going to finish this on the webcam because my iPhone just uh, told me that storage is full. So good times there. I'm going to have to fix that now. Um, so now I guess you can see the quality difference between three cameras because I'm going to show you my webcam quality and how bad it is and uh, this is what I used to make videos on so you can see the difference between the three now um, I think I'm just gonna end it there so uh, yeah going forward uh, I got some tech upgrades um, hopefully quality of video upgrades you know some the biggest thing that is probably gonna hold me back going forward is presentation skills and um, you know just creating content that people want to keep watching when they when they click on the video so um, that's just from a talent perspective right I mean if people don't want to watch me then they're not going to want to watch you know they're not going to watch me right so I need to work on presentation being more likable having more engaging videos um, things like that so all things that I'm thinking about I'm aware of I just haven't been able to put into effect yet because I need more practice. I need to get better at this. So I know that I say um a lot. I have to edit out all that stuff a lot. Working on it. <clears throat> all right, I think that's enough video with the webcam. It cannot be good, so I'm gonna cut it here. Uh, this has been an update for of my channel. Uh, getting close to the two month mark. I just wanted to get some information out there and show you guys uh, where we've come where we're at now and where we're going. All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye.